my channel. My channel, I'm gonna be talking about several things. Low carb, um, why I started low carb, what do I mean by low carb, and I'm also gonna um, have an emphasis on a ketogenic um, diet and a paleolithic diet. There's benefits to both. I'm gonna talk about my weight transformation when I was tipping the scales at 290 pounds when I was at the end of my ropes, when I had no hope, and what changed my life. I'm gonna show a lot of cooking. I'm gonna show uh, shopping for these groceries. I'm gonna show how to cook it. I'm gonna show, people say that it's too expensive to eat healthy. I'm gonna show how it can be done on a budget. I'm gonna put my body through tests to show what a, what a high fat, moderate protein diet consists of with low carbs. My belief from my experiences truly feel the way that we're supposed to feel, how what we were created is that we need to eat low carb. Um, not all carbs are bad. Um, we take all the good stuff out of the food, we pack it with sugars and, and stuff to make it to taste better so it's even edible. Um, we were created to eat, um, and my belief fat, protein, and good carbs. There are good carbs. In Paleolithic, they'll eat good starchy carbs, sweet potato, yams, stuff along that nature. There's nothing wrong with that. When I talk bad carbs, I'm talking rice, cereals, pasta, that type. Dr. At Dr. Atkins, he, he, um, when he started talking about the Atkins diet, he caught all kinds of um, grief from people saying that people were going to die of a heart attack and you shouldn't be eating this much fat. If you restrict your body from carbohydrates, so when your body needs energy, it has to go somewhere to get energy. So it's going to go to your fat. Um, what happens is your fat breaks down um, into ketones. So then your body gets in a state of ketosis. Um, end up using your fat for energy. Your stored fat, either the fat you eat or the stored fat. So if you're trying to lose weight, a ketogenic um, diet is great for you because if you restrict all your carbohydrates, your body's still gonna need energy. So it's gonna have to go to your stored body fat and break that down for your daily energy. And it's tough to get into that state of ketosis. It's not easy. Uh, you actually would go through a carb withdrawal period um, for me, it lasted about two weeks where I was sluggish, uh, tired, brain fog. It's called the uh, keto flu. It's not actually, it's a flu. It's your body shifting from carbohydrate fuel for energy to fat fuel for energy. Um, um, maybe even some low carb cooking. Um, I'm gonna talk about my transformation what inspired me and what happened to me. And um, my channel is just going to be uplifting and encouraging. Maybe I can help somebody out there. Um, th that's what it's for. To when, when someone has, when someone's down and out and they don't know why they're battling with their weight, um, stuff like that. Um, my channel will hope to encourage people to let them know that there is something more than um, eating to this food pyramid that we were given by um, our teachers and doctors growing up. They can be wrong, and in my opinion, they are wrong. So hopefully I can help somebody with this channel. Um, if you like my channel, if you could please subscribe, share, like, um, that'd be great. Even if I reach one person, that's, that's good enough for me. Not everyone's gonna like it, and that's okay. I hope you enjoy it, um, and I look forward to seeing some of my videos here in the near future. I plan on doing as many videos as I possibly can um, without inter interfering with my day-to-day -day life. Um, I think people need to know, it's important for people to know. So, thanks again.